Hi guys, welcome to Creations by Karen. Today I'm going to show you another craft that I'm putting in my spring craft show, Easter weekend. Um, and so let's get going. Let's get, let's get crafty. Um, so I started out with one of these peat pots that I bought at my local, I believe I got it at Dollarama. And now I know you don't have those in the U.S., but it's a popular uh, dollar store here in Canada. And um, there's several sizes of these. This is the one I chose. It's about four inches high and wide. So that's what I'm going to use. In Canada, we're really big on recycling things. So um, I chose this because you could put it in the ground. You could put it in your recycling bin, whatever. All right. So we're starting out with this. And I'm using to paint this, um, this chalk paint that I got. I believe I got this at Michael's um, and I'm using oatmeal color. All right. So all I did was go went ahead and did two coats of this um, oatmeal chalk paint. And this is what it looks like all painted. So two coats on the inside. I just went about halfway down. You don't have to go all the way. You got that part. Give me a thumbs up if you got that part. All right. Now I wanted to decorate it somehow because it looks kind of boring um just like this so i thought okay let's decorate this so i had these napkins that i got i believe at michael's i could be wrong but i think i got it at michael's um and so what i'm going to do is just kind of take it apart uh, if that makes any sense because it's so it's very easy to do you just pull this apart be very gentle when you're doing this because you want to make sure that you're not going to rip the napkin so this is a really easy and affordable way to decorate something for easter that i'm throwing away i don't need it and then i'm just going to cut this this easter egg and this easter egg out and just take a pair of scissors Got some here and I just go around and just cut around the outside of it whatever you want to do is fine Lexi's in the house Lexi being my cat I can hear her she might want to jump up here but just uh, stay with me guys all right so I just cutting around this Easter egg just like this okay got one done and I'm gonna cut this one out I think I'm gonna use two today and just go around the outside of the Easter egg I don't want any of this white on here I just want to use the Easter egg whoop she's up Lexi is up on the table all right <clears throat> Just come around take your time you don't want that white stuff to show okay so here are my two little pieces that I've cut out in out of the napkin you got that part all right so then I'm going to take some Mod Podge that I got and I'm just going to put some Mod Podge on this bucket that I painted I think it's a peat pot and it doesn't matter where you start just be generous with this you don't you want to make sure that these um Easter eggs are going to stay on here. All right, so I put Mod Podge on here. I don't go all the way around. I just put it where I want to put the Easter egg. Okay, so I've placed, I've got my Mod Podge on. And then I just take my little Easter eggs and we're just going to place them randomly kind of on this bucket peat pot so I'm going to put one that way and then I'm going to put one this way kind of just I think I might have to put a little more on here just because I want to put it kind of down there we go and you can do this with any kind of napkin but I chose the Easter one and I'm just going to place this Easter egg sort of facing down 
So once you have your Easter eggs on, that's what they look like. I'm just going to put another coat of Mod Podge over top and that secures them onto this peat pot. Quick. All right. So that's what it looks like with the Mod Podge on top. And you just set this aside and let it dry. And it takes about, I don't know, half an hour. That's all you have to do. But in the essence of time, I've already done this. I also have a cat that's sitting in front of me. So this is one that I did previously, and it's all Mod Podge. That's what it looks like. So let's fill it, shall we? All right, so I know that I want this inside to be sort of covered. So I just took a piece of Mm. Name escapes me. Tissue paper. And I'm just placing the tissue paper on the inside, and that's going to allow me to make things stand up a little higher. But I just don't want that. So I've got this shred, Easter shred. I think I got this at Dollar Store. You don't need a whole lot of it, you just need a little bit. And you just put your shred in and that just covers the um, covers your tissue paper make things stand up okay so that's where we're at so far okay now I want to fill it <clears throat> so I made a few of these so I know that I want to put something in the back of it i got my stuff all here, ready to go inside. All right. First thing I want to do is put one of these in the back, and it's explosive green apple candies. All right. Do you remember these when you were a kid? They, they put them in their mouth, and they just kind of explode. Kind of fun. The kids like it. So I'm just going to make sure I put it directly in the back, and I just take my fingers and pull this. And I just stick this in. You know what? I'm going to have this on the outside at the back. Okay? So I've just stuck it in. And this, and I kind of just shape it so it goes around the back. Okay? And then I also have one of these uh, Easter bunnies. That's cute. I'm going to put him in the top here. Just kind of squish it down. I like these jupe jupes. Put that in there. And I also got these Easter eggs. All of this stuff I got at my local dollar store. And that's cute. But I want to fill something in the front. So I also got these Easter eggs, chocolate Easter eggs. And I'm just going to put a few in the front. Not to do a lot. Just a few. Mm, pink, I think. I might put one back here. All right, so here's what we got so far. A little Easter basket. All right, let's wrap it. Okay, that's what we got here. And I got to move my cat. I'm sorry. Lexi, you got to go. Go, go. Go. <clears throat> All right. I got some clear wrap that I got at my local dollar store. You can get this anywhere. I'm choosing, I choose to buy this at dollar store because I found it's the most economical way to do this. So I'm just going to roll it out. And I've done a few of these, so I think I'm rolling it out at about 20 inches or so. After you've done your first one, you'll figure it out, guys. Just cutting it. Okay. Put that aside. 
and then I'm just going to turn this in a diamond shape. And I'm going to place this right in the center of that diamond. So you bring, okay, now I need something. I'm going to make sure I've got this ready. I've got a little, have something to, um, this works. We've got some tape. All right. So come to the back and bring the front together. So you want this to be in the middle. And then you just scrunch your fingers down. Bring this up. Up. So here's where you are. all my cellophane there's where we got um you know what I'm not gonna use that I'm gonna use this twine that I got so you start at the front leave some and you're just gonna wrap this around nice and snug so you get to the front and you're just going to tie it off nice and tight. It's not, it's fine. Okay, so this is what I got. Just to tie around. And I left some length because I'm going to put something on there. So then I just cut this off. So that's what we got so far. Now, if you don't like all this at the top, you can cut it. So what I do is just come up, just like that, and just cut this all off. If you don't need all that extra. This is the worst scissors. Mother's Day is coming up. I need some new scissors. There we go. That looks a little better. I like it. Cute. Okay. Uh, now I want something to tie onto here. So I have a little cutout that I got on Pinterest. Bunny bait says. I want to use that. I think I'll use Have a Happy Easter. And I'm just going to place it on my tie that I put on here and just tie it in place. Just be cognizant of where you're putting it. All right, so there's where I placed it. I'm just going to cut these ends of the twine off. So here's where we're at. And then I want to put a ribbon on here. And I got this ribbon, I think, at my local dollar store. It's got bunny or it's got Easter eggs on it. It's cute. And I'm using fairly thin ribbon. I think it's uh it'll tell me in a second. It just says four yards, five eighths inch. And you get four yards. So I'm just going to Take a piece off, cut it, and now I'm now going to make a pretty bow and I'm going to turn this towards me. So I'm just going to make a nice little bow. And this is not two-sided ribbon, one-sided, so make sure you've got the good side on the outside. And you can play with it. And I'm just making a cute bow. It's 
single bow. That's all you need. Just make sure your uh, ribbon is facing the right direction. And you just take it and pull it to the, so these are the size that you want. So I just, I like to make them like two fingers. I don't want it overly big. Just want it to look good. That's cute. Cute bow. And then I just want to uh, cut the ends off of here. I like them to sit longer. I really do need some new scissors. There we go. Another item that I've made for my spring craft show. Give me a thumbs up if you thought, think this is a good idea. And if you like to make them for your craft show, I think they'll go well. I've done them in the past and they seem to go really well. Uh, so if you like what you saw today, make sure you like and subscribe. I'm doing tutorials quite a few in the next few weeks to show you what I'm making for my spring craft show. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you soon.